What's up, Buttercup? You know what? This is LTK here. Of course. Doesn't everybody have a Ferrari hat? Hey, we're going to dye some scales today in the studio. Got the lights set up. FRN scales, G10 scales, Big Ten football scales, anything with a 10 in it or a G in it or an FRN in it. We're going to do them. We got a whole bunch of dyes. I mean, I got, I got more bottles of dye than I got pans, than I got, you know, bottles to put the stuff back in. But we're going to try and do what we can do. It ought to be fun. We'll disassemble, dye them, reassemble. This is all experimental for me, too. I'm going to do the synthetic dye for the first time, man. This kind of shite. See what I'm saying? Oh, I don't even know where the damn camera is. But see, it says synthetic here. Yeah, and I got that color. Plus, I got this color. Which one do you think? I mean, this is the sapphire and this is the Kentucky sky. So, I'm, I might do one of each. And then... Poiple, which I know is a royal color. And then... Uh, this is Racing Red, so this might be interesting, too. <sighs> I have to think about which one I want to do. Probably like a paladin in this or a, or a fish. And then maybe a paladin or a fish in this. But I think as far as... See, and then I've also got this Reich knife. Check this out. So this is vicious, but look at the scales. I think we can dye them, and we're going to try. I haven't even done the review on it, but screw it. And, oh, another entry into the class is going to be this little baby doll from Real Steel, the Terra, and they have it in tan. So, oh, baby, I almost got an OKC Rat 1, Rat 2. There's a billion screws to undo on those bastards, and I was kind of done buying because I had bought a bunch of expensive stuff like the Spyderco Paysant. And all that. So, and but we're gonna do the fish. And we got two of these, and we got two of these little babies right here. Best tech stuff. And what I like is, is that these are easy to take off because you don't have to disassemble the knife. You can just take this part of the scale off on both sides. You have to take the pocket clip off, obviously, but you can just take that. And we got the Paladin. Paladin, yes. It's one of my favorites. I've got an orange one, but I don't have... I mean, I think I've done these before. And I think what I'll do is like one of these in a synthetic and one of these in just a regular... Uh, like, this is the all-purpose. You can see that. All-purpose. doesn't say synthetic was guy that was commenting on the channel saying the all-purpose it, it, it's it's just as good or better than the synthetic if you're doing g10 but if you're gonna do frn that's where the synthetic comes in because you know these are a different type of material we're gonna find out i mean you know what the hell so i've got two of these crazy SOBs, the Honey Badger, and these are D2, because now they're out in D2, and these are in the large, which of course you must have, uh, but check that, you got a red backspacer, but, 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 they sell different colored backspacers, and this one is tan, like the knife, and so we can color that Maybe a different color, maybe the same color. Whatever we want to do with that, we can do. I don't know right now. The red, I'm going to leave red as a contrast color in case I do one of these like in a blue. Uh, and then maybe leave that red just as a contrast. But one of these is going to go in the dye pot. So we're going to have a total of eight different knives we're going to do. And we're just going to mess around and see what the hell comes up. Uh, looking good or not. 
I mean, the thing is, we're not working on any knives that are super, super expensive, which is a good thing because if you're experimenting, that's just the way it goes. So I'll try and hurry the thing up or cut the, the video to where I'll just show you the disassembly on one of each of the knives that we're doing and try and hurry through that so that we can get to the dyeing part. And basically, we're just going to hang those things in the dye pots with, uh, you know, a little thin wire piece and let them cook for like 20 minutes and, and, and we'll see what we come up with. I don't think an hour helps over 20 minutes. I actually, personally, when I've looked at them at 12 to 14 minutes, it seems like I probably got all I'm going to get. But it doesn't hurt to go longer. So if you want to go 30, 40 minutes, hey, knock yourself out. Uh, I don't think it's going to hurt anything. I, I, even if you went an hour, I don't think it's going to hurt anything. I just don't know that you're going to get a whole lot more out of it. But we'll see. Uh, and, you know, we'll go to the tabletop. I'll show you my little disassembly thing. We'll go from there. Um, I want to get done with this because I got to go to my Ferrari rally, of course. So you got to. I don't know. I think I'm going to take the one that's deeper in my garage. So I'm probably going to have to move the Bentley out of the way. And I ah, shut up. Okay, here we go. And by the way, I thought, yes, the clock that's ticking in the background is not a cuckoo clock. It's a Seth Thomas mantle clock. And my dad had it inscribed for his father. So he gave it to his father before his father died. As the Westminster chimes in it, they're all gone. So uh, it brings me back and comfort. And there's no other place in the damn house to put it besides. So sorry for the uh, intrusion of the ticking of the clock, but I, I find it actually comforting. Let's get on to doing some dye work. Sorry, not trying to dump my personal stuff on you. Just wanted to explain so you wouldn't be so frustrated or pissed off. Okay, let's get with this. We've got dye, we've got knives, we've got all kinds of crazy stuff. I've got, you know, my number six in here. I've got my number eight I can swap out with. And then I got this for the back side of my... Uh, of my Terra because this little plug fits in here if I need to stabilize it when I'm unscrewing it with a screwdriver or if I just want to you know take it apart like that which it'll probably just work like that but what I'm going to do is probably just disassemble one of each of the knives that we're going to do and then not show the disassembly of the matching ones because I've got you know two of the paladins I got two of the swordfish I've got two of the uh, of the honey badgers, and then I've got the Terra, and I've got this Reich. So we're gonna, and it's just the F1. It's an F1 T T for tan, and so thought we we do that. I got my die kit here. So these are gloves, and it's florist wire. So I've got wire and gloves here because you need to wear gloves when you're doing the dyeing and you need to have wire to hang the scales in the pot if you want and then get you a funnel to put the stuff back into a jug to reuse later if you want. Uh, let's start the party. I'm going to take this little tear apart. You know what? I didn't... Oh, do I got it? Okay, I got a screwdriver. Okay. And yes... And then let's kick this baby loose and do this as well. Wow, these are real easy to take apart. I guess this was the one I was doing with the, with the wrench, but this one wasn't. This one just really started unscrewing real easy, almost too easy. Okay. Uh, bingo, bango, right? So when we do these, then we will, you know, of course, this doesn't have bearings on it. But it's got these little son of a guns, little bronze washers. Here's our backspacer. Pop these out. And uh, get this. So, oh, 
Well, of course, the pocket clip wasn't a separate screw. It was just part of integrated with that. We'll wash these up in a little soap and water just to get oil off of them and stuff. But so we got that one done. Mission accomplished on that. And then let's do one of these. And these are super great. I like, first of all, I like the swordfish just generally as a knife. I just like the design. I think they're great. And the action's wonderful. They're a reasonably good, uh, you know, bargain. And if you like dying scales and you want to experiment with that, then these are nice because you can just pop the scales off. Woo, baby. We want to, we're, we're going to, we're going to fight it a little bit, aren't we? Hmm, somebody must put a little bit of thread. Yeah, they did. Thread locker on you. Because I was thinking, hmm. And there we go. That should be about all she wrote on that one. And that's it, see? I mean, you don't have to disassemble the knife. Of course, you got to take... Um, you got to take the pocket clip off on this back side. So you do have the extra two screws to deal with. That should just lift off like a dog. Let's do a paladin and a honey badger. And then I'll do the rest of these uh, off camera because you don't need to see redundancy there. And this may be boring enough. Oh, you're not going to turn from the other side, are you? Are you? Yeah. It's got to come off anyhow, so what the heck. Here we go. Get her done. Yeah. And this one is turned out as well one more here we need to get our uh come on what are you rolling around with there you go scales multi-row bearings no wonder they're so smooth and uh backspacer all kinds of gobbledygook. These will be fun to put back together, won't they? Come on. Come on, baby. What do you got here? Oh, this will be fun. Okay. This is what happens sometimes, and you got to... Uh... Yeah. Well, this should come out. I don't know why this is sitting around in here. Come on. There you go. Um, every once in a while, you'll get something like that. There you go. Don't try my patience, boy. I will break your ass loose one way or the other. And there it goes. Yeah. The fish... The paladin. The badger. So now we're down to the small number six. So here's we go. Here's how we go. Next one is the F1. We'll figure something out. 
so that's just an extra screw for flipping the pocket clip but they all got to come off and uh, I've taken one of these apart before they should be pretty damn easy yeah there you go yeah shouldn't be any trouble this ought to be interesting to uh to try because just that different material it seems like it's more dense and won't be as easy to color and the pocket clip see if we can take this apart this ought to be kind of inner inner testing hopefully we can that'd be kind of fun take a picture of this from my review people want to see it disassembled with the scales off all that kind of garbage okay and no no adhesive check that out i think we can do that the eagle has landed and then this side okay just pull them through wow how's that that's all kinds of crazy i'm starting to like fixed blades look at that that's it folks that is it Time to do some dyeing out in the kitchen. I already splashed, already splashed a little bit. This bottle, I had the lid part way undone. Sapphire blue. We're going to do sapphire blue. We're definitely going to do sapphire blue on this one. It's already partly do, I spilled all over the damn thing. Um, synthetic. So since we're doing the synthetic, I'm going to do sapphire blue on these two. I'm going to go racing red on this and uh one of these uh so i'm gonna have three different colors i'm gonna try the purple what the hell royal purple sticking on a bag here so we're gonna go royal purple racing red and uh sapphire blue i don't i, I i'm not gonna try this yet Kentucky sky so maybe that'll be for a g10 thing some to wear down the line so I've got water in the pots so I got three different pots now in the pot uh, each pot I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, dishwashing liquid just because I heard that might be helpful and I don't know well, I'm gonna try Okay, and then over here I got, you know, just paper plate with paper towels over it, just in case you don't want to spill. Underneath I got a towel, underneath that I got granite, so uh, we're in pretty good shape. And these are all stainless steel, so we're going to just kind of stir everything in there without getting too many soap bubbles. Stir it up. Okay, we can do that then uh, we've got this locked down shake this up so we're gonna do this and i am gonna decide if i'm gonna do it in this uh i'm gonna do it in this smaller one for for this blue because i got synthetic there so uh i want to make it count let's see how that goes I think that's a pretty good amount. Racing red. And you know what? First, I've shook it up a couple times already. 
so it should be okay we're gonna go red um, in here and I got a lot of water in there so I'm I'm gonna put it to it okay yeah that big pot I don't think that's probably the prime way to go I think you're better off with a smaller pan than a big pan you see what I'm saying these pans are probably too big really uh, because you probably only really want at the most two quarts of water and uh, I probably put in two-thirds of a gallon in this sucker just to give myself some depth for the scales to sit in but uh, then you want to get a lot of dye in there as well okay purple we'll go back in the back in the back of the pack for the purple and we'll see what we're gonna do there that looks pretty intense and let's see how that rolls I want to make sure it's purple I don't want it so dark it looks black and I'm not going to use any of the come to think of it I'm not going to use any of the all-purpose it's all going to be synthetic purple blue and red those are the three colors we're going to go with check you in a bit when we dump the scales in okay I think it's hot enough I mean it's Dante's hell in there uh, let's uh, let's start hanging fire here uh, these are already underway aren't they uh, that was smooth move dumping dye on them out there throw it in uh, honey badger going blue going blue as well and there's the little hanger piece that I damn near lost in the pot and that side of that pot's hot fish we're gonna go purple fish at least on one of them so there you go with that uh, I think we're gonna go with a red fish on another Oh yeah, it's cooking with gas, and yeah, literally, actually, and, uh, hmm, paladin, paladin, let's do a red, and honey badger, go purple on one, no, we're going to go red on the badge, okay, badger going in going red um, this what do you think uh, what the hell let's go blue Terra Terra terrible Terra uh, hmm I don't know if I want to go red or blue on it dang what have I got in the blue pot I got one two three only got one in the purple. Let's go purple. What the hell? It's just an experimental anyhow. Okay, I think we're all in. One, two in the purple, three in the red, three in the blue. So that's eight. We're good to go. 20 minutes from now, I'm going to set my timer and start. So we're counting down. All right. In a while. So out of my 20 minutes, I've still got almost three left. And you know what? I'm done. I'm just going to call that good. Uh, I turned the burners off. I think I've done done enough. I think they are done. So... Uh, I mean, there's my fish, the swordfish, so I think that looks good. And I'll, I'll give you a little bit more insight, but, you know, that looks good. Uh, I've got three different jobbers in here. Jabber jobbers. And look at this. 
So that's the Paladin. Love that kind of grainy pattern and everything. Look at that. Disappear. But I think I think that's good to go. That's hot. Oh, that's our badger. Um, that looks red. Let's throw that thing out there. So they're all red. They can go on one plate together, but that, that looks more like wine red. See, that's that FRN. Okay. Uh, and there's our badger in blue. And that looks... Ooh, maybe I should have gone for the sky blue, you know? That might be... Oh, I mean, that almost looks blackish. We'll get it under... I should have probably gone Kentucky sky instead of sapphire. Uh, but we'll see. Um, but look at that for the paladin. Oh, man, that's pretty. That's like candy blue there, isn't it? See that? Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. That'll work. They're done. I mean, I don't think leaving them in longer is going to help me. And what's this? Oh, yeah, my F1 fixed blade. That might be interesting. Let's see what that little dog looks like. Well, it looks blue. See? So, we get it, you know. It's hard to tell. I'm shading them a little bit here, so. Um, what do we got for purple? Oh, we got that Terra. Real Steel Terra. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. Next. Let all these dye things cool down a little bit. Oh, and then we made a purple fish. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that'll work. I just want to get... I want to get them rinsed down. Any excess off of there. Oh, yeah, that's blue. That is definitely blue. I think that'll look better in natural sunlight than under the kitchen lights, but you kind of got the general idea. Yeah, I'm wondering about these FRN. I might have wanted to go lighter. I didn't know they'd go that dark. Well, I might be prejudging this a little bit. Uh, it might, it might, it might have worked out. Oh, isn't that pretty? Those best tech knives. Look at that paladin. Oh yeah. Oh, did the backspacer too to match, of course. But of course. And then we got the Terra, which is purple. And hmm. Yeah. It's definitely not tan anymore. I'd say that's purple. And then our last little, we got the fish in purple. So let's see how that best tech scale looks in purple. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh yeah, that's good. See, wow, that G10, that's just, that's nice stuff right there. Look at that, that's just amethyst. That's nice. And let's go to the fish in red, get any excess off of there. You think that's red? You think that's racing red? That's definitely racing red. I'm impressed how that dies. Look at the paladin. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. That's nice. This is my question mark here. Well, that's not too bad, is it? The honey badger went red. And you know what? I was thinking that was... When I pulled it out there, it just looked so dark, like it was just a deep, deep blackish maroon. But it's not. Nope. That I that'll work. Actually, that'll work. You know, I could always swap out. I could put this blue backspacer in with the uh, 
on the red and then one of those red spacers that come with the tan on the blue and or red with red we'll see back to the table okay we're back at the table i i wanted to spare you the reassembly uh you saw me tear them apart just play the video backwards and that's that's the reassembly there you go uh note note okay if you do a swordfish remember this screw is the short screw here these others are the same length note on the honey badger uh there's two screws to the pocket clip and of course they put a little blank in there uh on that side unless you want to flip the clip around but this inside screw here is short that one's longer that's the short so when you have two short screws you know they're the inside screw on that because otherwise they're going to go all the way in and touch the blade or get really close to it so remember those two short screws the rest of them are the same length it's the blue one okay is that blue I mean, that's just, that's a deeper color than I wanted. And it was in the same dye pot with that. So this is FRN. This is G10. These best tech knives, they just, they are wonderful. They just absolutely dye up great. And, and here you go. Uh, Paladin with garbage on it. Uh, and that was supposed to be more like a racing red. And it, I don't know if I'm going to call that a racing red. It really depends on the, on the light that hits it. It can look more reddish like that. Or kind of a maroon, magenta, burgundy color. Uh, the, the big disappointment was this one. Because that is too dark. And it was this. And it was this. So this has different grains too. The F1, uh, you can see it's more blue, blue, that sapphire blue that, I mean, I showed you the dye uh, bottles. Sapphire blue, synthetic, and uh, something about the grain pattern really sucked it in deep to almost, uh, you know, a midnight blue here, but then lighter here. How crazy is that? CPMD2, who does that anymore? Uh, I'm going to send it in, maybe have it tested, see what's going on there. The biggest disappointment besides the honey badger just being too dark um, is this. This was supposed to be purple. Well, I mean, this is a lavenderish pink, so I didn't want it this, but I didn't want it this. This is like a deep plum. And it's almost, I mean, in, in many uh, light situations, it looks black. And I'm, no, I wasn't really trying to go for that. If you look at it like that, then you can kind of tell the, the, a little bit of that reddish purple in there. And then the swordfish, you can see that there's purple there. But that's a deeper purple than I want deep purple taking me back but no uh i wanted something lighter than that so this in certain lighting situations look like black on black uh i don't know i'm thinking about pulling these scales and steve kluver one of the viewers i back and forth with him a lot he says take them take the scales off put them in a bleach solution you know and boil them for a while let them set see if they uh leach out a bit i mean they, they'll fade and you should get maybe a lighter color try that i might even throw these scales in too and what i did is i flipped the blue backspacer and then the the tan one comes originally with this red backspacer anyhow i bought a tan backspacer to dye so i'm thinking what I'm going to do is take the scales off of this and that backspacer, throw them in a solution 
along with these two and see uh, if I can bleach them out. So I'll get back to you on that. Otherwise, um, I don't mind this too bad. It's really a subdued red, almost like a reddish chocolate color. So that's not bad. Uh, problem with these honey badgers is they're not, first of all, they're not G10. And second of all, they're not really a true light tan beige. They're really kind of a brown. So you're starting with a little darker color than you might want to. And so I don't know if red's my, my deal. I, I, I probably should have gone to that Kentucky Sky color on that synthetic, which was really, really light colored. And in, if I would have done that, I think this would have been better. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try and bleach this out and get it lighter. I'm also probably gonna get another honey badger in tan or a couple of them because I'll probably sell these on, and and then try the Mon or the Kentucky Sky blue and then try a real pale red. Uh, maybe go back to my non-synthetic red, which is more of a red red than this is, and see how that goes. Although, this is not that disappointing. It's just, in certain light, it kind of just looks like maybe a reddish chocolate. And I was kind of going for more red. At least a little bit more distinguishable red. So, that's it. You know, blowing and going here, but... Uh, you know, I'm just experimenting. I think maybe I put, first of all, too heavy of a concentration of purple dye. Second of all, these kinds of G10, like this, you got to watch it with this particular uh, grain of G10. And then, yeah, you can see the purple, but then it's darker in those bands, and it's really hard to tell. And that's just not exactly what I was going for. So I think the purple, even in the not only the synthetic, but the all-purpose liquid dye. I think I'm going to step away from that. And if I'm going to try purple again, I'm going to go to a violet, something really, really light, and try that first. I mean, it never hurts. I mean, you can always go darker, but you can't go lighter unless I can do this thing that Kluver's saying and maybe bleach these out a bit. And if they do, I'll get back to you on that as well. But uh, keep experimenting. Um, these only went, these went less than 20 minutes. And I don't think I needed more. Uh, I probably needed less. And I probably needed a, a lighter color to go for. I don't want it that purple. You know, and these dyes are made for clothing and stuff. So it's, it's hard to translate. You just need to experiment. Kind of see how it goes. So there you go. I mean, this, good. That's okay. This one, not what I was looking for. This one, okay. This one, and this one, no. And this one, great. I mean, that sapphire blue, man, that pops. And this was okay. Uh, probably should have pulled the scales a little earlier. Uh, and maybe this should have gone Kentucky Sky, too. I mean, people are talking about vinegar, or they're talking about liquid soap. And I don't know that the vinegar makes any difference, and I'm not sure that the soap would either. Uh, I don't need to help the absorption anymore <laughs> on something like that. That seemed, I mean, it seemed like everything absorbed plenty, uh, more than I wanted it to. So uh, maybe I'll try without the soap, without the vinegar, synthetic versus all purpose and very, very light colors. Kind of see how that rolls. Take care. You know what we do around here? We drink beer. No, we love them knives. Dang it. Forgot.